Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to find the exact values for all the trig functions when the angle is 1140 degrees. A few things that you have to keep in mind. First, you have to know how to draw the picture. And second, you have to know how to find the reference angle. And the third is, you have to know your special right triangles. Alright, so let's go ahead and draw the angle 1140 degrees. And right here, you know it's a big angle, so you have to keep track carefully. And we have to do it on the x, y plane, right? So, start from the positive x-axis right here. And now let's just keep track. We know one revolution is 360 degrees, right? It's not enough. Let's do another loop, which is 720. Still not enough. We'll go through again. This is going to be 10, 80, right? So maybe it would be helpful if you just write it down on the side or something like that. Anyways, this is 1080 already. Well, I need to get to 1140, right? So I need 60 degrees more, right? So I will just go right here. I need 60 degrees more. So this much right here is the additional 60 that I want. Anyways, you see, this is my terminal side, okay? And let me label this right here for you guys. This is 60 degrees. And whenever the question is asking you to find the exact values, you are going to use a special right triangle. You see it already, you have 60 degrees, right? That means we are going to use the, what, 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. And you're just going to draw it right here, right? So perhaps I'll just make this in red. So this much right here, and this is the terminal side, and let me just draw a right triangle like this, okay? This is 60 degrees, that means this is going to be 30. That means this is supposed to be the shorter side. And this right here is going to be 1. And keep in mind, this is past the 1, because you are on the right hand side, right? And this right here is the uh, above the y-axis. This is the second leg, which is square root of 3. And this right here is the hypotenuse, which is going to be 2. So you have to remember the ratio of the size for a special right triangle, okay? And once you have this picture, you can just go ahead and fill in all that, fill all that in, right? So, sine of 1140 degrees, in fact, it's the same as this. And you do the usual business. You can look at this as y over r, okay? Opposite over hypotenuse. But use y over r because you are talking about the x, y plane. Anyways, y over r, which is square root of 3 over 2. And for the cosecant, it's just going to be 2 over square root of 3. And then you just go ahead, do this. So you get 2 square root of 3 over 3. And then for the cosine, you do x over r, which is 1 over 2. That's just 1 half. For secant, it's just going to be 2 over 1, right? So let's put on 2 over 1, which you know is 2. Lastly, for the tangent and cotangent, tangent is going to be y over x, which is square root of 3 over 1, which is just square root of 3. And for cotangent, it will be this over that, 1 over square root of 3, and you do this, right? Rationalize the denominator, and you get square root of 3 on the top over a regular 3. That's it.